Hello everyone and welcome back to Mr. Evans History. I know it's been a while since I've uh, put any videos up on YouTube. I've been very, very busy at the moment, as I'm sure you all have been. Been working on redesigning our history curriculum for next year, and that's what I want to talk to you about today. I'm going to go through what choices I've made and what new topics I'm going to bring in for next year. So, hopefully, you'll have an idea of what we're going to be doing from September. So, this is the general overview of all of the topics you're going to be doing from year 5 through to year 8. Each year has its own overarching question, so a question that we look to answer across the year. And then when we go into each topic, we'll have smaller questions which we'll be answering as we go through, like we have done in the past. So, to start with, in year 5, I've gone with the question, why did people move before 1066? So we're looking at all different ways that people have moved around in the world. We'll be starting off in Autumn 1 with looking at the Cheddar Man, which is an early, early discovery of man in Britain, so that'll be an interesting one. We'll then go on to looking at the Silk Roads, which is a topic that I'm going to be dipping in and out of a lot throughout the years and I'll come back to that in a few minutes because I've got a book recommendation for anyone interested. In the spring term we'll be looking at Roman Britain, so we'll be looking at why the Romans came to Britain, why they left Britain and we'll be challenging the thoughts of what a typical Roman might have been like at the time. And then finally in the summer term we'll be looking at Anglo-Saxon and Viking Britain, so we're looking closely at changes in religion, the different roles that people played in society and how those two peoples interacted with each other. So that's what we'll be doing in year five. Year six, seven, eight has seen a little bit of change because I've actually moved back some of the things that were previously year seven units, now year six units. So those of you who are in year seven and year eight now, you'll notice that the Norman Conquest, the Battle of Hastings, 1066, is now actually going to be done at the start of Year 6. Because the question we're going to be looking at in Year 6 is who held power in the world between 1066 and 1558. So we're looking at all about different ways that power was held in different countries. So we'll start off in Autumn 1 with Battle of Hastings, 1066, which a lot of you have done and you'll know a lot about by now. Then we'll look at the medieval world in quite depth. We'll do that for the rest of autumn term and for the whole of spring term. So we'll be looking a lot within that. We'll be looking at the plague, we'll be looking at crime and punishment in Britain, but we're also going to be looking at the wider world. So particularly places like the Kingdom of Mali in Africa, and we'll be looking at cities in the Middle East, particularly with a comparison between London and Baghdad, which back then was one of the major powers in the world. To end the year, we'll be looking at Tudor Britain. So we're going to look at a lot of different things in there, like the changes in the church we've been doing lately in year seven. And we'll also be looking at some more diverse history. So looking at the roles that uh, black Africans played in Tudor Britain. In year seven, we'll be looking at the question, how did revolution shape the world from 1558 to 1901? So we're very, very much focusing on the rise and fall of the, the rise of the British Empire, apologies. So in Autumn 1, we'll be looking at the first British Empire, so particularly why Britain wanted an empire, their rivalry with Portugal and Spain, and we're looking at things like Francis Drake and his expeditions around the world. We'll then move into the English Civil Wars, which I haven't completely decided what specifically we're going to be looking at and thinking at the moment stuff to do with religion and, and um, movement to the American colonies, but that one I'm still thinking about. Uh, spring term, we'll be looking at the rise of the British Empire, so how we went from being a very small island nation to one of the most powerful empires in the history of the world ever. So we'll be looking at what we did to do that, different companies and businesses set up to do it, why we did it, and what sort of impact we had on the peoples around the world within our empire. Finally, to finish off in the summer, we'll be looking at Victorian Britain, previously a year six topic, it'll now be a year seven topic, but we're looking at the impact of things like the Industrial Revolution, riots in Victorian Britain, and the lives of people living in Victorian towns and cities. Lastly, in year eight, we'll be looking at the question, what did people fight for in the 20th century? 
So it's not too dissimilar to what we do in year eight already, just a little bit of changes. So we're spending a lot more time on World War One in the autumn term. We'll be looking at two different uh, two different routes with that. We'll be looking at what life was like for people during World War One. So we'll look at soldiers on in Europe. We're looking at soldiers in different fronts around the world and the people back home. And then we'll be looking at what impact the World War had on the world. So how Britain changed, how the world changed because of World War One. In spring one, we'll go on to look at the Holocaust, which is uh, a topic which is very important for us to study and understand. Uh, then we'll spend the rest of spring and the start of summer looking at the fall of the British Empire. So how we went from being the largest empire and then slowly starting to lose our colonies around the world until we've reverted back to what we know as now. So that one we'll be able to see what happened around the world, different revolts, rebellions, civil, uh, wars that happened to cause our empire to slowly decline. And then lastly at the end of the year we'll be looking at civil rights. So within that we'll be looking at the rights of disabled people, gay people, uh, women's rights, we'll be looking at uh, black rights, we'll be looking at civil rights across the board and how those have changed particularly in Britain looking at maybe uh, comparisons with America as well. So that is my current thoughts on the curriculum for next year moving onwards. Obviously I've still got a lot to decide within that and feel free to let me know any thoughts, any opinions, things, things you'd like to be included, things that you want not to be included it's your curriculum as much as it is mine, so please let me know what you think about it. But hopefully by doing this we'll be looking at a lots of more lots of different types of history of different types of people. So we're not focusing just on Britain, we'll be looking at Africa, we'll be looking at the Middle East, we'll be looking at how different peoples around the world have been impacted by different events. So hopefully it'll be much more diverse, it'll be more interesting, it'll be more rich and lots more different stories being brought into it, hopefully. So that is the new curriculum then, or at least what it looks like right now. Um, I just want to leave you with a book recommendation which will cover a lot of themes throughout all four years, so if anyone's interested in picking this up it'd be a great read and you'll be already ahead on what we're going to be doing and have a good understanding of where I've come to some of these decisions. So the book that I'm going to recommend to you is called The Silk Roads, A New History of the World. Uh, the illustrated edition particularly, there's other editions which I wouldn't recommend for you guys, I'd recommend the illustrated edition, it's more suited for, for pupils. Um, at the moment it is reduced on Amazon, it's £12.99 and it is a, it's a stunning book, it's very very interesting, it's got wonderful artwork within it, a lot of map work, it is really a very very good book so we'll be touching on it in year five and different themes will come up all throughout the four years so if there's one book you want to read for history I recommend this one to you. Anyway so that's everything I've got to let you know about today I'll try and be a bit better about posting videos now that I've got that out of the way and I've got my curriculum together so hopefully you can see a bit more content over the next coming weeks. Uh, I'll start to put together the individual questions we'll be looking at and I'll let you know those as they come up as well and you can share your thoughts and opinions with me. As ever, any comments leave them below, any likes, go ahead and like, anyone you think hasn't subscribed let them know about the channel and if you've got any emails, anything you want to talk about about the curriculum then feel free to send it in to me at the usual email. Hope you're all doing well, hopefully I'll be able to see you very soon, keep safe, Keep working hard, make sure you look after yourselves. Goodbye everyone.